Hello, and welcome to the Breco Power Hour. I'm your buddy Toast host with the most, Brett Reese, and with me here is Ricky 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 Tang. Professional fidget spinner. Also known as Fedora Douche. <laughs> Professional fidget. <laughs> great. Great, I great. The, I know all the best tricks. All the best floor tricks. Drops, more floor drops. That's the best one. I can, even, I can even do desk drops. Good lord. Um, anywho, <laughs> uh, today we'll be talking about um, pre-order bullshit and our loot crates, our loot boxes and games. Uh, is it gambling? Um, so we'll start off with uh, the king of uh, bullshit. Pre-order shit. Good old GameStop, my favorite store in the world. <clears throat> I know. I do love GameStop. No, shut up. I, well, no I don't love GameStop. I like I like exactly two or three people who work at GameStop. You and, like your GameStop? Yeah, that's what it is. Specifically, my GameStop, and that's it. Yeah. I just hate GameStop as a whole because I have to hook up at mine because it's bullshit. And the recent bullshit is with uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. And their shitty ad that says, Sorry, the bonus mission is blocked unless you pre-order Assassin's Creed Origins. It's like... It's like a slap in the face. <laughs> I don't... Dude, I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's just ballsy fucking advertising or... It, I, 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 don't, I don't know. That's that's some ballsy advertising. Is it is it because GameStop's just su- doing so poorly in terms of sales that they're like, yeah, we can do whatever the fuck we want. No, we're gonna say whatever now. Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? <clears throat> uh, yeah, um, they've been doing this type of shit for. Not, I mean, not this kind of ad, but just like, just dumb pre-order shit. Well, I mean, they've been they've been doing this for a while, <clears throat> but like, they've never just like made it so self-aware yeah you know where they're just like yeah you know what fuck you as a consumer we know you'll buy it you'll buy the you'll pre-order and buy the fucking bonus mission we know it well there's i've noticed a lot too like in the past where they had like pre-order stuff and it wasn't exclusive to them at all even though they said it was it wasn't because i've gotten games where it's like uh it's it's right. It's right here, or it's like it's like I got. I think it was GTA Five when I got it. Like they in their pre-order thing, they're like, "Yeah, you can get a uh, uh, this blimp unlocking single player." And like, you look inside the box, and it says, "Like, no, we're we're just giving this to you. Like, oh, it doesn't matter where you buy it from. <laughs> we're giving you uh, the blimp." <laughs> Destiny Two. They were like, "Oh, pre-order exclusive bonus. Uh, uh, you get you get Cold Heart." No, you you just you got, you got cold heart anyway. You got fucking cold heart. Mm-hmm. And you didn't order from GameStop, so. Mm-mm. Nope. So I will say though, I did get, I did get little Cade figure as a pre-order bonus, and this was actually a good fucking pre-order bonus. Cause look at him, he's, he's fucking, he's cute. <laughs> yeah. He's cheaply made. <laughs> <Okay. he's cute. laughs> I spent a hundred and twenty dollars on this. <laughs> no, I spent a hundred and twenty dollars on. Uh, oh, you can actually see them free. Not yeah, that. that that box that, up there. Yeah, that that fucking Borderlands Two crate. That was the the hundred and twenty dollar one. Yeah, I. There's been collectors editions where it's just like ridiculously stupid. I will say I don't I don't care for Borderlands anymore, but that is actually a cool bonus. No, that is cool. It's got a bunch of shit in it too. It is cool, but I'm just saying that it's the pre-order pre-orders are bullshit nowadays. They they mostly are unless they give you some like actual physical cool bonus. Yeah, unless like, unless I don't know, a t-shirt unless unless it's Nintendo, then then you have to pre-order if you want to actually fucking get it. <laughs> you're not gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, they're legit about their pre-order. At least they're legit about it. At least they're honest about it. Yeah, like, when they when they say they're making a hundred, they really mean they're actually making ninety. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have to get into that. We've gone into that so many times. I'm not getting it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... I haven't... That's really the only way to guarantee that you get anything in terms of Nintendo. Otherwise, it, 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 the only reason I pre-order is so I could like pay incrementally for the game. Yeah, I mean, that's, as like a... It's that's like, really all I do. Like a credit card, you know? Just paying off the game before <clears throat> it comes out. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the only thing I, I do. Uh, but I will say, like I, I did do that with Wolfenstein... But then I, I ordered Super Mario Odyssey from Amazon Prime because it was forty bucks. Right. Wolfenstein was not, so I said, "Eh, fuck it, I'll just pay that off incrementally." Yeah, I, I, have, I, have, I haven't pre-ordered in such a long time. Yeah, just because it's like hmm, there's nothing in it for me. I don't know. I just yeah, know that most of this pre-order shit, I'm just gonna get it anyways. I don't have to pre-order yeah, it. The only bonus is pre-ordering from, like, uh, Twitch Prime. Because if, you, if you've got the Twitch account and you link it to your Amazon Prime account... Oh, yeah, you get that discount. You get, yeah, you get discounts. So, like, that's really the only reason you would pre-order, because you get, like, 15% off. Right. See, so I haven't... That's, that's the bonus. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, too. I try as much as I can never to pay full price. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, just... with Nintendo games, you're, you're kind of getting fucked. Like, you, you have to. <laughs> Those are never getting discounted. Good luck. No, not usually. Um, not the good ones, at least. <clears throat> Unless they sell enough, then they re-release it as, like, a collector's edition for $20. Is that Sorry. an owl or a fox? I can't it's tell. It's a fox. It is a fox. Yes. Is that a Starbucks mug? I don't know. It looks like one. I have no idea. You'd know it would be slapped on the bottom, so it's probably not. Nope. It's not. I Random. don't know. Random tangent. Random. <laughs> um. I wasn't sure if it was a fox or an owl. No, it was a fox. Well, from the from the back, it's owl-shaped. Does it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. I couldn't tell that shaped. was pale, so yeah. It's pretty all shaped Um, so yes. Good God. And then, uh, I mean, the other thing, too, speaking of Twitch, with, like, loot boxes, they always give away loot boxes pretty much every couple months, or is that every month? It feels like every month. I mean, it yeah, it, it it hasn't benefited me since the two Overwatch ones, but you know, I would I would kill for some Rocket League ones. Yeah, because those do not fucking drop. <laughs> well, it's like it it does. I I feel like loot boxes are becoming a bit more gambly, a bit more casino uh, like yeah. because it's like when you go to a casino and if you like sign up for their card or something like here's some money here's some free money go go gamble well, it and then and then there's like there's like a huge difference in like the degree of loot boxes too like overwatch's loot box drop like aesthetics and stuff and you don't like they don't change anything about the game just aesthetics mm-hmm. um and you can get them through normal play you don't have to shell out money for things um, but people still do, including me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I only I only shell out money like during a holiday. Yeah, because um, it's like special things you can get. Yeah, and I don't ever shell out more than anywhere from like five to ten dollars. Right, but there's people that like cannot control themselves about that. Right, because it, because it is well. I would consider it a form of gambling, but the ESRB would not, apparently. I mean, this kind of goes back to, like... Uh, when was this, like, microtransactions, like, the biggest? Like, Farmville, basically? I think Farmville basically started it. Made it popular. Not loot yeah. boxes, but, like, you know, microtransactions. Yeah, well, yeah, it started with microtransactions, and then they were like, well, let's put some, like... 
box together. <laughs> yeah, let's put like dumb like boxes in here, and then you have other ones like uh, Destiny Two, where like I didn't I didn't get a fucking speed bike until I shelled out five dollars for a fucking like engram. Yeah, and then I finally got one, and I'm like, okay, cool. I never need to do that again. But the fact that I even had to do that because they don't drop anymore, or they do, but they're so rare that you're forced to like either hope to God that you get an engram that has one. And I went through three of them, and none of them dropped, so I had to spend money and hope to God that I got one. Right. And now they drop. Now I've got like four or five, and I'm like, yeah, of course. Now they're all dropping. Yeah, and there's like. They always do in, there was like incentives, like, oh, if you buy your first, uh, silver or whatever, you get a free engram, ooh. There's always, like, something to entice you to get it. Yeah, and like, you know, I have, I have self-control, where I don't, I, I might shell out, like, five or ten bucks, like, at max, and then that that's that, but other people are gonna be shelling out a fuck ton of money. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it seems like they're just trying to squeeze every, any freaking dollar they can out of you with its, whether it's like, bullshit horse armor, <laughs> a la Elder Scrolls, or just like, ah, oh, here's uh, a couple of maps that probably should have been in the original game, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, and pay fifteen dollars for those. Like, yeah, well, I think I think that's really where. The microtransactions and the the boxes are getting really ridiculous. Is when they're shelling out this uh, half finished fucking game uh, that's like lacking content, and then they expect me to shell out money for boxes. And I've also said shelled out like at least twenty times now. Um, they want <laughs> me to throw money at the screen for DLC, which is all stuff that probably should have been in the game to begin with. I, I like half the games. I haven't gotten like a full complete game yeah that's what it feels like i mean there's you know, been many ways that companies have done this um like one way is to have your own your own uh currency within the game but give away free dlc like grand theft auto online all their dlc has been free you don't have to pay for anything uh and the only way they've made any money is by selling shark cards, which give you money in game. So, but what they do is with these DLCs, is that the new stuff costs more money in game. So maybe the first DLC had like five new cars, and they all cost like close to a million dollars in the game. Okay, next DLC comes about. There's more cars, but they cost like mm, 1.5 million, and which with each new DLC with new cars and guns, it costs more and more and more. Like, oh, here's some new property. Oh, you can buy a yacht, but that's three million dollars in the game. Oh, you can buy your own bunker, but it's like five million dollars in the game. And it's like that's that's how they get you to buy their shit. Like, you don't have to. You can still acquire this, but you have to grind fucking missions constantly to even get to buy that shit. And the missions don't exactly scale <laughs> with those price points. Right. So they have done it a very sneaky ass way and there's a lot of complaints about that. GTA Online used to be pretty goddamn awesome but now it's to the point where it's like you have to spend hours and hours to try and get that new shit or be a cheating bastard <laughs> And just get millions that way by cheating. So yeah, it's I'm like, not... you're kind of forcing people to cheat. Because they don't want to spend hours grinding away just to get something. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's uh they're turning into pay to win now. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. If you play on like GTA Online and you're in free roam, some asshole is going to be driving around with a tank. And you don't have the money to get that tank. So yeah, you know, I mean, you know, people I saw like early level in Destiny Two who were driving around uh, with their their uh, what the fuck are those things called sparrows? sparrows. I'm like, I had to wait till twenty before one of those even thought about dropping. Yeah, I got lucky in my first bright engram. I got 
two of them right away. I got super lucky on that, but yeah. And there's, no, I mean, there's no trading item, so like even if you had two, you couldn't just like <laughs> gift one to me and like have the ability to let me ride around too. I was like stuck behind. No, because then that would kill their like system, basically. Uh, yeah, their system was. Yeah, maybe we can get them to buy one. Yeah, and it's just like uh, like the latest controversies with uh, the new Shadow of Mordor game, and they said that hey, you can play it, and you don't have to you don't have to get any of the loot box stuff or anything. You don't have to pay for anything. You can still play all the way through. But near the end or like when you're like like high level and you got like a huge army and you're taking over like a lot of the bases uh when you're getting attacked apparently it's like it's a pain in the ass to defend uh but hey you can buy upgrades for your fortress <laughs> you can buy upgrades for your army if you spend some money <laughs> and that's where that starts coming into play yeah, it's real money. it it kind of has the um what the cranny candy crush effect where it's get you get to oh yeah, sure you can get through the first like hundred levels but when you start getting to those higher levels it becomes nearly impossible unless you buy these power ups yeah you hit that you hit that paywall so yeah they're like you guys are full of shit no you put guys playing in a paywall the point where I I stop playing any free to play game or mobile game yeah. That, but that, it's it, it's more annoying in a game that I've I've spent sixty dollars on, and expect like a complete fucking experience. And what I get instead is, eh, kind of a haphazard experience. And you know, maybe if I shell out more money, I can uh, I can I can actually beat the game. Yeah, and it's like with like Shadow of Mordor, like the previous game was just like. A basic game, you know, it was, here you go, 60 bucks, okay, here's the full game. And, oh, here's some DLC, that was mm, 20 bucks, and you get more game. Probably, I think, like, it was like 10, 15 more hours. There was like two or three DLC that they had like that. And that was it. But now they're like, hmm, how can we squeeze the shit out of money out of people for the next game? Like, you don't need to do that, because people loved the previous one. And they're gonna like the new one, so you don't need to squeeze a shitload more money out of us. No, they do because they know they can get away with it. Like, just put DLC, just put like expansion packs, like it used to be. They'll they'll do that too. They'll they'll do that too. <sighs> That's they the thing. Squeeze. Now it's like they just gotta squeeze as much money as they can, and like there's nothing there's nothing that's stopping them from doing that because people are just gonna spend the money on it. They don't care. And there's like the argument of like, well, uh, it costs. It's costing way more to produce this stuff. It's costing a lot more to produce these games and whatnot. Like, okay, I get that, but don't do shitty business practices to get the money. <laughs> yeah, dude, the games industry makes so much fucking money. Oh, they make there's tons. no reason I should have to pay any more than sixty dollars for a game. Like, you guys get fucking deals with, like, food and shit all the time. Yeah, don't don't let the fucking games industry fool you. Like, at least the CEOs and everything. Like, the companies who make the games are raking in money left and right. People who make the games, though, not so much, but... The developers, no. The pr publishers, yes. Oh, yeah, publishers are raking in fucking money. And... So then the publishers are like, oh, well, we don't have enough money to do these games. Ugh. We should put DLC in here because all I can see is fucking money. Do publishers... Have you ever heard of really publishers being shut down? Not really. It, most of the time it's a development company that gets shut down if something yeah, goes I mean, wrong. I know, I'm sure publishers have been shut down. I just can't think of yeah. any top of my head. No, it's most of the time it's the developers that get shut down. And it's like you're the fucking assholes who fuck them over and make shitty deals. I guess one of the dumb things I saw recently was for Destiny 2. It was like uh here <laughs> like it there it was on like a Pop-Tart box. Like, oh, here you can get experience points if you 
text this code <laughs> to a number and then go to this website. Like, why didn't you just give me the code in the box and then I enter it in Destiny 2? <laughs> Plus it's experience, so that doesn't help me at all. Who gives a shit? I can get experience easily. So, just like dumb things like that. Like, really? Pop-Tarts? Stupid. Yeah, I don't really see a whole lot of publishing companies that have gone out. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's always the development companies, the studios. They yeah. always get go under. There's there's a fuck ton of articles about studios that have closed. Publishers? Um, no, because they yeah, keep all the money. Yeah, I don't see publishers in here that... Gee, I wonder why indie games have become super popular. Hmm. Uh, because they provide Maybe... the DLC for free. Maybe because they don't have a publishing company sucking all the life out of them. <laughs> I mean, and that's not to say that, like, every indie game has been, like, good or anything. Oh, I know, I know. Um, let's, let's not talk about Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah, I know. Or... And granted, there are some good publishing companies, and there has been good, like, sorry, jeez, uh, indie company, indie uh, publishing companies, like Chucklefish. Yeah, Chucklefish is uh, usually pretty good. But, yeah, it's just like, it, it's really, a, it's our fault as gamers. It is our fault. I do well... blame us, because if we just had some goddamn self-control and not buy into this bullshit and not buy into their bullshit, they would stop doing it. Because they'd be like, we're not selling this microtransaction bullshit anymore. Let's get yeah. rid of it. I, like, I got I got no problem with you putting the loot boxes in there and or the ability to buy more. Um, but it, it gets ridiculous at a point. Like, I wish people just had, like, more self-control. Yeah, I mean... Like you'll you'll get that Hanzo skin, man. You'll fucking get that Hanzo skin. You don't have to dump out money for it. Right. You should always give the person like a chance to get their own loot box by way of skill. At least Blizzard's been better about it. Where, um, you know, their I don't know their event costumes cost like three thousand of their in-game currency, um. But then, as like they did this year, whenever they came back to something, um, old costumes from last year only cost a thousand. So like that's that's kind of nice, and they changed it due to complaints where people were like, "Oh, we keep getting too many doubles, man. This is ridiculous." Yeah. So then they they fixed it so you were less likely to get a double. So I mean, some of them are doing good if you're gonna have the fucking boxes in there. Yeah, I mean, there are some, there's other games too that do it pretty well, like, um, there's that free game War Thunder, it's kind of like World of Tanks, if nobody's heard of it, but War Thunder, they, um, if you just, it's basically just, if you log in, you get a loot box that day, and if you log in every day, the the loot boxes get better, so, the first, like, the first day you'll get a box that might have a booster for 10% more of, you know, gaining our currency or 10% more XP gain. And the next day it'll be like 50%. And the day after that you'll get a chance for like 100% and like better boosts each day you log in. So no matter what, every time you go and play for the day you get a loot box. Um, but then also uh, you can also get like discounts from those loot boxes like for new planes and tanks and whatnot and but also you can spend money to get those points to unlock new planes if you really want to but what they did so that people don't get um, screwed over by someone with like a jet and you have a shitty World War II plane they put you in they put the planes in ranks so no matter what if you're playing if you have a jet plane you're going to be Paired up with other people who have jet planes. 
Makes sense to me. Yeah, so they keep a rank system, so people are not overpowered. So they kind of they do a pretty good job of keeping things balanced while still not totally screwing you over. That makes sense to me. I don't know why more people don't do that. Oh, because they're greedy fucks and who cares? And they seem to make great money because the game's still going and they're still developing it and there's still things they're working on for it and they always release new shit every single month. So it's probably one of the best free games I've played. That's where yeah, I don't I'm... feel like I'm getting screwed over. I worry that Nintendo's going to start dabbling in this, um, I don't know, DLC bullshit where they're not, like, pulling out, like, full games. I mean, uh, uh, like, luckily they haven't, like, done anything stupid yet. And that's like, oh, well, we're going to have, like, DLC for Breath of the Wild, but here's, like, a full fucking game, like, first, though. Yeah, they're, they're dipping their toes into it. Um, but they, I feel like... I feel like they do a lot of research. I really feel like Nintendo does a fuck ton of research and looks at other games and how they handle certain things and they really seem to pay attention to what's being said about those that uh other games as well. I feel like so like okay, yeah. So we'll have we'll try DLC, but we're going to make a great fucking game first and then we'll add cool shit afterwards. Yeah, their mobile games haven't been good. Well, no, <laughs> they're not. They're not good, but like they they don't demand that I spend money. Uh, what about Super Mario Run? Oh well, it it demanded that if I wanted to play past the first level, that I had to actually buy the game, and then every every like microtransaction was like gone away with at that end. Ah, okay. See, so I... it was like. I, I don't, it was almost like the game was a free sample, but if I wanted the full experience, I just had to actually buy the game. Mm, okay. So I, I can't be as upset about that because they were like, oh, if you just spend $10, you get the full fucking game, and there's no like microtransactions beyond that point. Hmm, okay. Uh, I didn't buy the game because I didn't. I wasn't that fucking interested in it. No, I <laughs> played it. Opinion, it was... I don't really like 2D Mario. So I figured, what 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 was the point? It was it was okay, but I'm like, mm. uh, I hear pretty decent decent things about their uh, uh, breath of no, not breath of fire, uh, fire emblem. Yeah, people seem to like the fire emblem game. I don't like fire emblem games, so I can't even give any opinion on that. Right, but people seem to like it, so I don't know. It I'll is... tell you what, though. Uh, I will be getting the Animal Crossing mobile game. Of course. And then ruining my life. <laughs> it just seems a little... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Nintendo. I don't know. Kind of worried. Kind of uh, worried Nintendo about where you're going. I don't understand like, how the mobile like market works. I mean, the first the first game they dumped out was uh, Mitomo. Right. It was kind of fun for exactly like one week. Yep. And now I just use it to make, um, you know, image stills for things. Basically. <laughs> what they really should have done was just give me more power in that area. Right. Um, well, then he had Pokemon Go, which is fun for a summer. Dude, people are still playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, they are. They're still playing uh, it. I, I drove... I was driving to... I don't know where the fuck I was driving, but I was on... I was on, like, Harper and 12, and I know that there's a, like, gym there. Because uh, when we were playing, I was frequenting it pretty pretty close, too. Um, and, and there was, like, a whole group of people all standing around with their phones out. And uh, Maria was like, the fuck are all these people doing? And I'm like, they're playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> yeah. No, I was with my parents. I was with my parents because I was going out to lunch with them. And they were like, what the fuck are all these people doing? And I'm like, they're playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. I'm like, you can tell. I know that's a Pokestop right there. Yep. Yep. Uh, to which my parents were like, people still play that thing? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, they keep adding new Pokemon. I couldn't care less. I'd rather just play actual Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, I think they kind of 
released it a bit too early. They really did, and it wasn't, like, very Pokemon-like. Yeah, it was... It was it was so close. So for people who don't actually want to play Pokemon while they're playing Pokemon, Pokemon Go was what they were looking for. Yeah, um, but, like, they were <clears throat> so close for it to be the thing that everyone wanted, but they fucking missed the mark. Like, yeah, but see, the people don't know what they want. Now it's all, like, streamlined and, and popularized, and everyone's like, oh, I like this, because I don't actually have to do any real actual fucking effort or work. Well, I just slip my finger across the screen and hope that I catch Pokemon. <laughs> See, what they, they should have done is add trading, allow you to trade, and allow me to... allow it to, like, recognize other players near me and let me fight them. Let me battle them. Well, because that's what they were supposed to put in. And also make the fighting fucking better, because it sucked ass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it didn't make any sense. It was just like, yeah, tap the screen. I mean, I don't know what the fuck else I was supposed to do, but... Yeah, they could have made know. the fighting better. I don't know. I, I just, just let me play actual Pokemon. The catching part was fun, walking around like, oh, that's... It was really exciting for a month. It uh, was. It was cool. It was like, holy shit, this thing, there's a fucking... Oh, well, I got a billion Zubats, but holy shit! <laughs> Yeah, until you until you get separated from your wife in Mount Clemens, um, and then you get cornered by some random guy in a dark alley. <laughs> did I ever, what? Did I ever tell you a story? No. Okay. Well, Pokemon Go story. Real, <laughs> real, real, real funny Pokemon Go story. Um, I could have totally died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I'm not joking. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, yeah. So we were playing the summer that it came out. Uh, right before we bought our house, um, and we just went, we went to Mount Clemens. We were walking around because it was a Pokemon hotspot, and I got separated because I was uh, searching for a Victory Bell, and it started getting like really dark. And this guy comes up to me because I'm not fucking paying attention, and there's like a whole bunch of people around the city just playing this, and I got targeted for some reason. And this guy's like, "Hey, I just need your help," and I'm like. Uh, I'm like, I don't have any money. And he's like, oh, no, no, I don't want any money. He's like, no. He's like, you got me all wrong, man. I'm like, okay. So he starts going on this whole spiel about how he doesn't need any money. He just needs help locating the freeway. He doesn't know how to get on the freeway. And I'm like, oh, well, I can show you how to get to the freeway. That's fine. And then it turned into, but actually, I don't have any gas, so I need money. Uh huh. And then he basically followed me around the city, uh, asking me for money. And I'm like, dude, I don't have any money. Until he was like, well, there's like an ATM right here. We could just go to the ATM and you could like take out money for me. And I'm like, uh, I don't like this. But like, it like got like really dark. Nobody was around. This guy was just following me. And I'm like, I'm gonna get killed out here. I'm oh going God. To oh shit. So yeah, he was basically just following me around the city asking me for money and um it, I don't it was it was creepy cuz like I didn't know where anybody was. Nobody was really around to like see this or witness it. Um did you like run or something? Yeah, how the hell did you get away from him? Uh I ended up I ended up going into a party store uh where I took out $10 and gave him $10 and was like this is all I have. Take this and go. And he was like, no, man. He's like, I need I need at least, like... Oh, that was it, too. His, his money increments st started changing, too. Because he was just like, no, nah, I just need five bucks. And then I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't have that. And then, you know, it, it turned into ten. And then it turned into, after I gave him ten, he really wanted, like, twenty to forty. And he's like, I'll, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. And I'm like, yeah, here's ten dollars. Leave me alone. I'm like, this yeah. is what you're, you're not getting any more money. Get some gas and get the fuck on the freeway. I would have just and, walked and then into I a restaurant of, or something, and then yeah. and then I I kind of like slipped away. And then I, I saw him wandering the city even further with somebody on the phone, and he was like, "No, I don't have enough money to get gas. I can't get there." And I'm like, "Oh shit, maybe he actually did need money for gas." I'm like, "But he's not getting any more." 
Hmm. I, I hid it from him too. After I found after I found Maria and our friend, uh, I he was walking around looking for more people, and I was I like hid. I'm like, get down, get down. You have to hide. <laughs> I like, had that guy that's been stalking me for the past forty minutes. I had s- not exactly similar, but that that's like that's like a it's, I, I've heard that like as like a common robbery scenario scenario. Um, but I had one where like I was in Aco and this guy wanted me to buy him like uh, like oh my you know the tire went flat on my car can you buy me a you know a you know flat tire fix thing you know i was like mm, i don't know mm, sorry i can't help you and and then uh, a bunch of girls came up and said the same thing like hmm something's weird and suspicious and i don't know it's kind of odd and they're trying to follow me to my car and i'm like nah, sorry i don't uh, sorry i can't help you and then you have this like awkward like, do I go to my car so they know where my car is? Or yeah. Do I wander around in circles. Yeah. So they leave me alone. It's like, uh, can you like? Pst, usually, someone can help. And, like you know, usually like, it was by like the freeway, so usually like there's that like the M dot thing that would help you. Like. Yeah, and it's. And that's it's, what I said. I'm like, uh, M dot can help you. You know, they can help you change a tire and shit. So it's like, and then I heard like you know. That that's a common, like, robbery thing where they all say, "Hey," and then have you come to the car and then fucking rob you right there at the. Oh car. yeah, no, no, no! You don't you don't go to their car. Yeah, <laughs> that's so. I was like, mm, no, I'm not gonna come with you. I mean, even though this guy was following me around and I gave him the ten dollars and everything like that, it was like, um, I, I I made sure to try to be around other people and like be in crowds. I'm like, he ain't gonna rob me if I'm around all these people. I led the way to places. Because he wanted me to go to an ATM, and I'm like, I am not going to an ATM. No. Fuck no. It's so, like, he's he's gonna, like, fucking rob me. So, yeah, so. I mean, it's kind of, it it's a sucky thing. You know, it's a sucky thing to, like, <clears throat> have to, like, have this, like, not, tr- not trust anyone. <laughs> well, yeah, like, you know, I don't want to be, like, what if, what if he genuinely did need help? Right. I mean, and you know, I feel bad because like he sucked me in with I don't need any money, I just need help getting into the freeway and it's like, Oh well as soon as you say you don't need any money, I'm willing to listen to whatever the fuck you want. And then and then you did actually need money. Yeah, it's the same it's like uh, I you know, don't need money, just I need this thing because I can't repair my car. And it's like but there's a large amount of you who can't fix the car or... Yeah, that's that's kinda weird. <coughs> Can't call someone? <coughs> no, you have a phone? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, well, I think I think after that incident, too, I kind of stopped playing Pokemon Go, because I'm like, yeah, maybe I don't need to play this game anymore. Right. I'm done. I'm done with the Pokemon Go's. Right. Pokemon's can go. <sighs> so. Yeah, so... It was... It was scary. It was, it was, it was scary. It's like, I don't know, when that stuff's going on, you don't really, like, know what to do in this situation, because you're like, fuck, like, do I just run? Like, what if he comes after me? What if he's got a fucking gun and he shoots me, and I'm, like, running away from him? I don't know. Right. What's he gonna do? I, I, if I, I would have just went into a restaurant or something. And you, you know, you know what the problem is with, like, people like you and I? We're, we're too, we're, we're too, like, naive, and, like easily cornered we're too nice so <laughs> yes. we're not like to be rude to people and like shoot them away so we get, we get cornered into situations like this where we're like ah uh, this is awkward but it's also really more awkward if i like i'm i'm too invested in this right now i can't just get away it would be rude it would be rude to the person who's fucking stalking me to just run away <laughs> Well, and that's why we both have wives that would just say shit for us. I know. Because we're, we we're fucking... Because we're fucking pussies. <laughs> like, there's a time I was... Me and Layla were... Uh, we're in Detroit. I think we were with my my dad and stuff. I think we were... I forgot where we were going. Yeah, we were, I think we were going to a hockey game or something. And 
we're walking, and this guy, this bum came up and gave me a little American flag on a toothpick. And I'm like, uh, thank you. He's like, and the guy, and the, the guy stopped me. He's like, hand his, put his hand out for money. And Layla's like, rolls her eyes and just like fucking grabs the flag, puts it in the guy's hand. And she's like, fuck off. <laughs> and she's like, don't fucking take shit from people. What are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I thought it was free, okay? He just gave it to me. <laughs> I'm just being nice, and I said, no, I don't have any money. <laughs> probably are socially awkward and don't know what to do in situations. Yes. I, I just... feel like people know that, so they target people like us. Yeah. Like, like uh, I don't really know what to do in this situation. But, it, I mean, it's it's funny because, like, I'm so, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't like being around people, and I'm, like, antisocial and everything, and I'm not, like, very assertive or aggressive. But, like, my entire job revolves around being overly assertive and fucking aggressive. Like, if I got to be on the phone or I got to write you an email, I'm a total fucking dickhead. <laughs> but in, like, real life situations, I'm like, uh, here, follow me around the city for, like, 40 minutes while I go find you $10. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> God. <Good to> you. <laughs> I've, I've kind of changed, though, because now I work in Detroit and I have to deal with that situation every day almost so it's like yeah, so you, you've now grown, i you've grown numb to it i've grown I numb and i have my tactics to, like, know how to deal with it like there there was t- a time where i was walking with a co-worker to my car and the uh this bum uh guy and girl like the guy came up and was like almost put his arm around me I thought he was like going for my backpack I'm like whoa whoa hold on <laughs> like don't just touch me I know where I have no idea who the hell you are and then the lady said some obscenities to me because I was backing away from them <laughs> like uh no I just don't like being touched uh yeah that is that is a huge no-no for me I uh don't fucking touch me yeah I'm like uh who, do you, do you don't f- touch I'm like do you fucking do you touch strangers no <laughs> Like, I don't want to be touched, okay? Yeah. I, I barely want to be touched by <clears throat> anybody I know, let alone someone I don't. I don't like being touched. Yeah, so it's like, I just kind of keep my distance from people, and it's like, I try to be as kind as I can, though. It's like, no, sorry, don't don't have any money, or sorry, I can't help you. I just, I carry, like, some amount of money in terms of like dollars for like I know I'm gonna get cornered if I go to a city or something so it's just like here's a fucking dollar it's literally all I got leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> just run away just throw it up in the air and run <laughs> I need money for bus fare here's a dollar leave me the fuck alone I don't even know how much bus fare is I've literally never ridden the bus <sighs> me either Someone, uh, I remember, like, during wow. Christmas... Wow, that, if that didn't sound like fucking white privilege, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. We fell into white privilege trap. <laughs> I don't know. I've never ridden the bus. I don't know. I've always, I've always had a car. You peasant. Mm. Except for the times I get in car accidents and they total my car every single fucking time. <laughs> and I have to... Then I have to be like a poor kid and ride to fucking work for my dad. Oh no! <laughs> like, but there was dropping me off at work, dad. And there was there was a time where I was like I don't know, seventeen or eighteen. I was at the mall during Christmas and uh, in like a busy store, and this guy asked me for bus fare, and I just like here's here's five dollars, here's five bucks. <laughs> Like, yeah, I, like, legit don't know how much bus fare is. Yeah, it, that was a pretty ballsy thing, because that store was fucking packed, and I, I don't know how I got picked out. It was like, hey, you have money? I, I, need, I need it for bus fare. You how you got picked out? Because we are antisocial-looking motherfuckers, <clears throat> and we can be cornered. Yeah, it was, like, in... We, we are people who have an aura about us. Yeah, well, I was we we're I was in Fye and I was in like the kind of anime section, so it was like he was smart. I was like, ah, perfect, be a boo. I get <laughs> perfect. I can get some money out of this fucking nerd. <laughs> He's gonna be awkward as shit. He's gonna give me some money. Like, damn it. Yeah, exactly. 
gonna be awkward as shit with his fedora and everything. Just give me some money. <laughs> I didn't wear a goddamn fedora. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't have a fedora. Face? No, no, I didn't. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. You, uh, you didn't. You didn't uh, have a scene phase where you, you dressed up like a fucking Pokemon villain. Mm, no, mm, I didn't wear gloves or no, like specifically, strangely colored dress specifically shirts. Fingerless gloves and. And and at that I I cut off the the finger parts so wait 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 even like made to be fingerless did that shirt have flames on it no no it didn't okay have flames on it. okay you weren't hundred percent into the whole uh, neck beard gear oh no that wasn't neck beard gear that was <coughs> like scene kid gear slash Michael Jackson backup well it's what the neck beards wear now. Well, okay. It is. Um, <laughs> See, you're no, a neckbeard no, before no, it became that, neckbeard. <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't. That's not what neckbeard. Well, the fedora for sure. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The fo- um, I'm focusing on the fedora. Um. Oh. Oh. That's what you're focusing on. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For sure, the fucking fedora. Uh. But that I. That wasn't like a like. Is it raining? I think it's raining. No. I'm like, what the hell is that? Because it sounded like my fidget spinner, and then it stopped, and then... Oh. Like, raining. Yeah. Random tangent. No, that was not like a, um anime, short sleeve, like, Hawaiian shirt. That was, that was like a... a that was a button-up, nice red, red shirt. <laughs> With a t-shirt underneath. Uh, that's... You know what? That's gonna be the cover photo for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Too edgy for DLC. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's going to be it. Oh, God. Good God. <laughs> Why did I share that photo with you guys? God damn it. I think I've seen it before. Probably. It's oh, on Facebook. Yeah, I think I've seen it before. Because at some point in my life I said, hey, that's a good photo to take. And then another part of my life said, hey, I should upload that to Facebook for other people to see. Not, Not a good idea. Yeah, not a good idea. No, 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 no. There are probably far worse ones in there, too. In mm. fact, I know there are because I looked through some of them today for that, that post that I shared with my cousin. Because she wanted everyone to share their scene day photos. Did I? Have... Oh, yeah, there was some pictures of me. Oh, I'm sure you had scene phases based on the group of people you hung out with. Yeah, I did. Um, but I didn't wear like gloves or anything like that. But I did dye my hair, dye my hair black, and one time blonde, which doesn't fit with these. No, <laughs> <'Cause>... <laughs> not at all. So yeah, and uh, yeah. Hey, there was a there was a point in my life where I wanted to have frosted tips. When oh, that was like elementary school. Back when uh, that was a thing. I It took did... me a while to figure out what to do with this fucking uh, mop right here. <laughs> uh, I did in the scene the answer days. was shave the sides and uh, leave the stuff on the top. <laughs> I I had the studded belts and I did have... I, I, I probably two or three times wore the girl pants. Because it was cool to wear tight pants. And well, yeah, now technically it's just a thing. Yeah, I, no, I can never wear that shit again. I only wear it two or three times because it's like I'm dying down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I don't like uh, I don't like crunch scratch. Yeah, I I don't understand how anyone could wear that. Like, do you? I do. Have I do say that I, I wear like tighter clothing, but that's because I don't really like loose stuff. But I don't want it to be so, like so fucking tight that I'm like restricted. And just like a little more form fitting. <clears throat> yeah. I don't I don't care for baggy clothes at all. What was the other thing I did? That's about it. No, no I think that's it. Cause it's like, yeah, oh, God, that was terrible. <laughs> Those days were terrible. The yeah. hell am I thinking? Well, now, now I just wear, like, bright fucking colors all the time, so. Probably the, uh, the only thing I wear, actually, I just think of it, it's, it's hipstery, but it's an old man, the old man hat. 
Oh, dude, yeah. I got one of those, too. I wear it in the winter. I have two of them. I have, like, a winter one and the other, the gray one. So. Oh, you have, like, a, you have like a day one? Like a casual wear one? Yeah, I have a casual wear one, and I have, like, one that's, like, it has, like, ear flaps on it. <laughs> yeah, because I do have, uh, mine is, like, a winter one. It's got, like, these, like, fold-in flaps that, like, come down over yeah. my ears. Yeah, I have um, that. I, I will say, I did, uh, last year, it, it was not providing enough insulation for me. What the fuck I do with that hat, either? Hmm. Um, but I got, like, uh, one of those, like, fucking Russian, like, nesting hat things with, like, the ear flaps that, like, usually stay oh. up and also just, like, fucking come down and, like, cover your whole face. Mm-hmm. Um, great investment, too, by the way. That actually keeps my head warm. <laughs> um, but yeah. It, I mean, it, it, it's absolutely hipstery and ridiculous, but it, it at least has function. Yeah, I'm also just slowly turning into the uh, the whole dad wear. Just... I, I mean, I am a dad, and just slowly going into that, <laughs> like, because now I have, like, I wear New Balance shoes, and I, apparently those are terrible to wear. Oh, that, that, that dad wear. Oh, I thought you were going into, like, fucking, uh, cut off, uh, shorts and, uh, like, no, no. shoes. I'm not gonna relive my what? fucking, oh. my fucking youth, no. <laughs> oh, that was your youth? No, I'm just saying, like, you're saying cut off shorts, like, I think immediately of, like, the 80s or some shit. <laughs> uh, well, no, maybe not, like, cut off shorts. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking, like, boat wear, like, boating wear, like, that oh. kind of dad stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear jean shorts, fuck that, no. Oh, well, nobody wears jean shorts, I mean, like, uh... Well, like... D- some dads do, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a very dad thing to do. <laughs> yes. Don't... Brad, if you ever get to that point where you're wearing uh, jean shorts and for whatever reason Layla doesn't say anything to you about that, I will say something to you about that. Thank you. But I'm sure she will, though. <laughs> She'll be like, the Dude, fuck you are you doing? Dude, you can't. You can't wear the jean shorts. No, but they're comfortable. They're comfortable. Did you, did you make those out of jeans you already had? No. Please no, take, no take I didn't. Take those off, dude. Or uh, socks with sandals. Oh, Christ. Uh, that's another classic. Or Crocs. Tried, uh, I was at the store with Maria the other day, and uh, I saw this old guy who just had, like, uh, oh, socks that were, like, up to his fucking, like, knees. And just, like, a New Balance, like, shoes on or something like that. And I was like, Maria, if I ever get to a point in my life where I, I walk out of the house and I think that's a good idea. Um... Oh, you're sleeping. That's where... <laughs> That's where you kill me. I'm like, That's where you, you, kill have, you have to kill me at that point because I've lost all sense of sanity. <laughs> but you, you got to write something out though, so that you know when the cops come, you can say that, hey, yeah. I'll just write a suicide fine. note. Yeah. Like, see, exactly. he, he did it. He did it. Kill him. Kill himself. Yeah. God, I was like, yeah, I need to. You need to like put me out of my misery because if, if I ever get to a midlife crisis where I'm wearing fucking. Uh, New Balance shoes, shorts, and uh, knee-high socks. I'm like, you need to end my life. Yeah, I just... I only wear those shoes just because my other shoes are all fucked up and I need new shoes, so... Oh, you mean you don't have to wear dress shoes to fucking work all day? No, I do have nice dress shoes. I like them. They're actually comfortable. Uh, well, you're allowed to wear jeans, though, aren't you? Yeah, I can wear whatever the fuck I want, basically. <laughs> Except yeah. for shorts, but yeah. Um, I can wear I can wear this, that. basically, there. And... Yeah, the only, the only day I'm allowed to do that is, like, Friday, so I still have to, like, keep it, like, not ridiculous. Oh, God. I hate collared shirts. Uh, yeah, well, I now it's winter, so, or it's turning into winter, so I wear sweaters every day, but, like, nice sweaters. Just because I'm a lazy fuck, and they're so easy to do. Right. Just like, like, uh, oh. I just, I'm just gonna put a t-shirt and then put a sweater on, done. <laughs> yeah. In and out oh. of my house. Fuck everything else. God, this was supposed to be a nerd podcast. I know, <laughs> now, now we're getting to old, old man... <laughs> Sometimes, occasionally, I will even iron my clothes the day before. <laughs> Old man and dad podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, went off on a huge ass tangent from Pokemon Go to getting like dealing with bums to now like dad and 
and Dog Dad. Dog Dad, where? <laughs> it's fine. We're covering, covering many bases. Yeah, covering all the bases. All the bases. Uh, I put my child to sleep, or it put itself to sleep. A little little Tamagotchi. The Tamagotchi. There's got to be like better lighting in here. No, I can't see shit. Kind there. of. Sort of. Uh, it's kind of blurry, but sure. Yeah, it's sleeping. So, uh, the 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 pocket Tamagotchi, since I've got it, um, <clears throat> I got two of them. This one's actually really cool. I'm not going to open this one. I'm going to leave it in the fucking thing. This one's really cool. Ooh. Um, I didn't have a choice in what they sent me, so I got sent this one and the blue one, better than the white one. Um, the the pocket ones, the little minis. Uh, you can't do half the things you used to be able to do with the Tamagotchi originals. Uh, I wonder oh. why it was so easy to take care of and why it hasn't died yet. Uh, and that's because the only thing you can do to it is feed it and clean up its shit. Fun. You can't play games. Yeah, I was like, why do I remember this being a lot more annoying? Why do I remember this thing beeping incessantly and driving me insane? It's because it did. This thing doesn't do anything. All I do is feed it a couple of times, clean up its shit, and that's it. I don't have to play games with it. I don't have to keep it happy. I don't have to do a goddamn thing to it. It's actually easier to take care of. Well, maybe they figured nobody has time to take care of that Tamagotchi. Well, it's supposed to be like the the 20th anniversary, like... I mean, they, they are. That's the package size. Um, I don't know. When they said mini, I assumed that, like, I don't know. They were just small. But, yeah, they're small, and they don't do nearly as much as they used to do. So I guess I guess that's good as an adult who has actual things to take care of. That's some bullshit. Um, it's still cool, though. I'm sure I'll get bored of this in, like, two weeks. <laughs> and then it'll die. I don't know what the max lifespan on a Tamagotchi is. I think they're like 25 days before they die. 25 days? Yeah, I think I think that's like if you actually fully take care of the thing, that's as long as they'll live. They they can live for 25 years and one year for Tamagotchis is one day. Hmm. Okay. So this thing's been alive for I don't know what couple I got it on Monday so four years now hmm okay shit well I don't know it's cute I, I remember them being a lot more annoying so I guess that's good well, I still I, I took it to work with me today and it did beep a couple of times and I'm like okay can't, can't, can't bring this to work with me sh- shut the hell up Tamagotchi yeah well it was in my it was in my pocket like in my coat, and I was like, what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> oh my gosh. Shut the fuck up. I'll feed you in a sec. God damn. I'll clean up your shit in a second. Just <laughs> doing it. Shut up. Okay. I'm doing case investigations, man. <laughs> Please. Dad's working. Dad's working. I'm at the office. Alright, well. Uh, that's all the time we have. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I opened up paint.net and it uh, kind of went over the, the recording, but that's fine. Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's all the time we have. Um, thank you for listening. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We put out every new window video. <laughs> Please hit, hit like and subscribe and thumbs up or thumbs down if you're an asshole and comment. Yeah, at this point I'd take a thumbs down just so people saw the damn content. Yeah, just thumbs just thumbs down everything. It's fine. It's cool. We can we don't have to shoot for the highest thumbs ups. We can shoot for the, the most thumbs down. That's something to shoot for, right? Yeah. yeah the most hated might... videos. Yeah, we might have to compete with the Ghostbusters 2016 trailer though. Really? Yeah, I thought it was, like, Call of Duty that was, like, one of the Call of Duty games. No, it's the Ghostbusters trailer. Oh, wow. Ooh, okay. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, you can, uh, follow us on Twitter at, I'm at the Bork Cube. 
Actually, name. you're not at the Bork Cube. That's your no? name. No? God damn it. No. Fuck. You're like at Highland333. Well, fuck Twitter. No, I ain't. <laughs> what a pain in the ass it is to try and tag you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm at Highland333, and Rico's at El Suavenero. Indeed. And follow us on Twitch. Uh, I'm actually at the Bork Cube there, and he's also at Suavenero. Yeah, I try to keep my names consistent. Yeah, well, I don't know if I can change mine. <laughs> you I can. I can. I should be able you to. Can. I do want to change it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. See you later. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Sign off. Sign off.